What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. In this video, we are going over some of the best practices of using lenses with your smartphone and the Moza Mini S. Let's go. Now before we proceed, full disclaimer, Moza has been a sponsor of the channel. They have hired me multiple times to go speak at their booth during NAB and CES. I just figured I want to share that with you. But having said that, this year Moza released the Moza Mini S, their smartphone stabilizer, and it's their most affordable yet. If you haven't seen 5 Reasons Why I Like the Moza Mini S, the link is down in the description. Please check it out after this video because at a $79 price tag and with features like 260 grams payload capacity, the foldable design and unrestricted phone grip make the Moza Mini S a fantastic entry point for those who are looking to stabilize their smartphone videos. Now because of the unrestricted phone grip, we can adjust the horizontal balance of our smartphone without limits. And this opens the door for us to incorporate lenses like the Sandmark White lenses and the brand new hybrid filters. Now in order to use lenses with your smartphone and the Moza Mini S, we definitely have to adjust the horizontal balance. As long as your horizontal balance is leveled and your tilt is not too off, the Moza Mini S will get the job done. One of the main reasons why I personally default to the Sandmark lenses is because they're actually slightly lighter and their cases are very, very thin. They actually fit very, very well on the phone grip. On some other cases, half of it can be hanging from the grip and I personally don't like that from a safety standpoint or want my phone to go flying. So that's why I typically default to the Sandmark lenses and their cases because they're very light and they're very thin. Also, their filters and their brand new hybrid filters can attach directly on top of the lens so you don't need an adapter, which is very, very useful because the more you put on your phone, the more your balance gets thrown off. Links for the Moza Mini S and the Sunmark filters along promo codes are down in the description. Once your lens and smartphone are balanced in the grip, you might notice that the rear motor of the Moza Mini S is actually peeking through the right bottom corner of your frame. And in order to get that motor out of your frame, I personally recommend using the torch position. It's not quite fully 90 degrees, fully horizontal holding position. It's more kind of like a 45 degree angle and that pretty much brings the motor out of your frame. So you can film your sliding shots and your dolly shots without any interruptions or without any interference. This technique can also be applied to those brand new smartphones that have built in wide angle lenses and of course with proper alignment. So if you have a built in wide angle lens on your smartphone, you can sway it a little bit towards the left. But if you're using a lens, bring it all the way in and, and one of the reasons why I personally still like to use wide angle lenses on top of my smartphones even those who might have the ultra wide lenses built in is the aperture of the main camera. The main camera lets more light in so if you're doing any indoor shots or any indoor videos you're definitely going to have a little bit better performance a little bit better image quality overall when you're using the better aperture which is often the native wide angle lens. 
Ultra wide lenses are often a 2.4 aperture, which is not bad, but 1.8 on the iPhone XS Max, for example, on their wide lens is definitely going to give you a little bit better performance under certain lighting situations. Now, when filming with extra lenses, make sure you stick to controlled and subtle moves. Because you're carrying a little bit extra payload capacity, sometimes it might not react as fast as possible. Also, remember that some of the camera modes, like the inception mode, might react a little bit slower due to the heavy payload. But overall, I love the fact that the Moza Mini S opens the door for third-party lenses since the grip is unrestricted and you can sway the phone left and right to achieve a little bit better balance. This also opens the door for you to be able to plug in microphones or headphones or any other accessories that you might need and even charging your phone on the go with the Moza Mini S. You could also plug in their included USB to 3.5 millimeter adapter just so you can use the native camera app and trigger the shutter with the buttons in the gimbal itself. So that's pretty cool. I'm also pretty stoked that the motors are strong enough to support the iPhone XS Max with their case and the Sunmark white lens and even a filter on top. That's actually pretty cool. And for $79, I think this is a fantastic tool for those of you who might be trying to get into the game and expand the type of shots that you can achieve with your smartphone and the Moza Mini S. But I want to know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you. Also, if you have your own tips for using lenses or any other accessories with the Moza Mini S, drop them down there. And as always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I'll catch you on the next one.